Yay! Today we are going to do a really fun unboxing. I mean, the unboxings are always fun and I'm always super excited because I'm totally ridiculous with unboxings. But today's box, you all, and I didn't even say y'all, I said you all. This is for emphasis. The sticker right here means this is the Thread Up DIY five pound jewelry box. And these are so hard to get. When they come up, they're on like that. So I, this is only the second one I've gotten, I think. Yes, this is only the second one I've gotten. Like I said, super hard to get. I am going to open the box. <laughs> Yay. Um, I'm going to kind of show you what it looks like inside. I'll tell you the receipt. I think they're $48, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I did pay shipping on this one. This one came from Swanee, Georgia. So hopefully we got some good things. But I've been watching all of my friends who specialize in jewelry and open these boxes more frequently than I do. And they've gotten some great stuff. I just saw um, Brighton from Brighton Your Day and Lindsay from Lindsay Clark did a collab with one of these uh, last week. And y'all, Brighton got Tiffany. I mean, was there gold? I think. I don't know. I was so blinded by the Tiffany. I can't think about anything else except that I'm like really hoping there's Tiffany in here. <laughs> we'll see. Um, let's see. Yes. $48. I ordered this on June 26th. Okay. So I'm going to give you a peek of the inside. There you go. They've got the little sticker. George is always good about putting the sticker. It's got a little wink like, girl, you think you're getting Tiffany, but you're not. Um, full Jeff. Okay. <laughs> There's one air pocket in here at, and it's popped. So that didn't really help a whole lot. So let's just kind of take an overview of the bag and then I will point the camera down and we will go through it piece by piece. So I don't know. Look, it's in a nice little bundle. I see a really pretty, like probably stretch bracelet with some green. Ooh, those have birds on them. Oh, I already like that. Um, let's see, maybe some other little bead of jewelry here. I see maybe a mother of pearl bangle here. Some more like beaded bracelets. Strand of pearls. I see some tassels in here. So I'm excited to get this open and see what kind of treasures we can find. All right, I'm going to point the camera down and we're going to get started. Okay, so here we go. Here's another close up look to what we have got. I'm going to open the bag um, and take a handful out to start with. And then I will zoom back out. No, zoom back in. <laughs> I'm zoomed out right now. I'm going to zoom in. All right, lots of pretty colors. So let's grab a handful. And I was gonna say fingers crossed for no tangles, but too late. <laughs> Let me grab, uh-oh, I already have a dog barking. I've got kids in the other room doing homework. So let me let the dog in and we'll get started. It's so funny because the older one is the one barking because he wants to be let in. And the younger one actually knows how to open doors. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love this little longhorn. That's perfect for Texas. And we got some glitter. So we'll see if we find a match to that one. Uh, the younger one actually knows how to open doors, so um, I'm surprised she didn't come in here and open it. Looks like we've got our first branded piece. We've got a J. Crew wide clamper, I think, here. Yeah, enamel bracelet and a really pretty peach tone. It is pretty kind of scuffed up on the inside, and here 
on the closure, but J. Crew always does well, so that should still sell, just maybe not for as much. Okay, trying to decide how to organize this. All right, next. Okay, hold on. <laughs> maybe not next. We have our first tangle, okay. Okay, I may have to deal with you later here necklace wait there we go we've got another bracelet this one looks to be gold tone kind of a crisscross cuff you don't see any sort of markings on this one but that sure is pretty just gonna try to take what's not tangled and deal with the rest as we go here Okay, and then we've got a beaded necklace on like maybe like a waxy rope. Um, these feel cool to the touch. They could be some sort of stone. And then a few wooden beads. I don't see any sort of hang tag or anything like that, but that is cool. Is this a straw? Oh my gosh, please stop. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right, here we go. We've got another, what feels like, could be some sort of stone beading. Um, it is nice and cold to the touch. Pretty long. And the beads at the bottom are a little bit <clears throat> wider than the others. It looks like we have a cone closure, which to me, this always says like, you know, vintage. So let's see if we see any markings along the cone. Nope, don't see any sort of markings, but that is really nice. Got that right there. Okay, next up, I remember the last DIY bag I did, oh my goodness, the tangles, the tangles. We have another earring here, um, don't see markings on that, so we'll see if we come across a pair for that one. <clears throat> okay. Not having a lot of luck here. Oh, here we go. We've got a, a popcorn chain, <clears throat> which is actually what I'm wearing right now. Looks like there is a marking on this. So I'll take a closer look. Feels really nice to the touch. So let's see. Let's see what this says here. Let's see if we can let that focus. All right, I gotta get the loop out. Let's see if I can if I can do this. I don't know. We'll see how good I am at this. Here we go. Made in Italy, it's upside down. Okay, so let me turn it the other way. Made in Italy is always a good sign, and it looks like it says 925. So we have a sterling silver popcorn chain. I love that. That is precisely what I am wearing right now. Um, that's great. We have our first piece of sterling. I have to show you the really pretty piece that I'm wearing. It is a Taxco abalone hummingbird. It's actually a brooch that I put a converter on. I got this from Marilyn Shady and Y. I absolutely love it. I paired it with this sterling popcorn chain that is actually Tiffany & Co. that I got from Stephen over at Sugar Vision. So all my jewelry friends taking good care of me. Love getting jewelry from my YouTube community. All right, we've got another necklace here. Uh, we've got some gold tone hardware here and then some sort of like 
wooden bead. And then at the end, these, these also feel like they might be some sort of natural stone. They're kind of cold to the touch. And it, that looks like that's in good condition. Like I said, I may have to come back to this pile um, because it's it's pretty tangled or maybe just pause the video and then tangle it and come back because I really I don't want the video to go too 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 long okay we'll move on to the next piece out of the bag see if that comes out looks like we've got a really long let me move this tape Uh, it looks like we've got a really long, like, strand of pearls. They're faux pearls. The ends here are broken, um, so there's no closure. So it would be good for some crafting or something like that. I'm going to put that in my craft bundle. We've got a bead here just that's kind of floating around. Okay, next, looks like we've got another loose earring. I remember having a lot of singles from the previous box that I got. All right, it looks like we've got what looks to be a gold tone necklace. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love that. Nice. Really pretty, like, filigree work. There is some wear on the chain. I don't see any sort of markings or anything like that. That is really pretty. We've got a like mother of pearl type huge bangle, very wide bangle. I don't see any sort of markings on it, but that is lovely. I love that. I wish that would fit my wrist, but don't think so. All right, we got one kid finished with his homework, so he's going to bed. <laughs> okay, next we have this really pretty beaded dragonfly. Um, it looks like it's one of these like bracelets that then goes around like the finger, like that. So that is really cute. Um, or maybe it could go on the foot. It could be like one for the foot. Um, and I've also got on my really pretty agate bracelet and ring that I got from Deborah, Timeless Jewel by Deborah. Okay, we've got a orange seed bead, kind of like, is it stuck? I don't know what's going on here. I feel like it's caught um, on this piece, but that is not marked. And then next we have a leather um, cuff um, bracelet. It says stainless steel on the inside here. And then we've got, oh, there's a little mark here. I don't know what this is. Hmm. Looks like it says DG. I don't really know a DG except Dolce & Gabbana, and that doesn't look like the Dolce & Gabbana mark. If anyone knows what that is, uh, be sure to let me know there. You can see my phone in the reflection. <laughs> um, but we've got just a little... Wait, how does this close? Oh, I see, like this. And it's in really good shape, so I'll have to look that up and see what I can find. I saw this from the outside of the bag, and I really love this. Um, kind of like stretch bracelet. It's got these really adorable birds on it. So, um, I don't know. And, and look at the, the stretch in it is like the, like a gold elastic. So we're just going to add that to my look for tonight and keep going. Okay. We've got another earring here. We don't see anything right off the top as far as markings. And we've got a wooden ring. That's interesting. It's very lightweight. So maybe, I don't know. That's that's really cool. I like that. There's something in a baggie. I don't know if that's good or bad, getting something in a baggie. 
Oh, what's wrong with you? Why are you sad? Okay, it looks like we've got a gold tone bar necklace. I don't see... I know, baby girl, it's okay. I don't see any sort of markings or anything like that. So maybe just like a fashion necklace. Grab another handful here. And next we've got a little bracelet. I see some copper coming through, so certainly not like uh, sterling silver, but it's got some really pretty pave stones there. For those of you who do jewelry all the time, you guys are so graceful in getting all these tangles out. Look at this huge tassel earring. Man, that is massive. Um, strings are coming out of it, so I'm going to already just go ahead and put that into craft. Um, I don't know if we will find the match or not. Okay, we've got a little tangle here. It looks like we do have are these earrings. Hold on. Yeah, there's one earring. Oh, and a necklace. How fun is that? It looks like we have a little set here. Okay, this one does have a hang tag. I know, girl. Let's see, and this is Claire's. You see right there, and there is the kind of pear-shaped or teardrop pave pendant. All right, second kid finished homework and is going to bed, so we're moving on in the right direction. Uh, this is the next earring here. We've got a hoop. Um, looks like it's wound with string. I don't see markings on it or anything like that. We'll see if we come across a match. And then we've got some more tangles here. I'm just gonna see if anything kinda came loose. Okay, well here's one earring. Right there you've got silver tone with these black beads that dangle. Oh my, okay. We've got another kind of dangle earring. Ooh, could that be amber? Oh, we might have some amber. It looks like it could be. I'll have to put it under a black light and see. Let's see what this says. There is a mark on the back. I don't know what that says. Very interesting. 925. Oh, and there's a mark down there at the bottom. I'm not familiar. I'll let you guys see the rest of this close up. I don't know. That looks like amber to me. I don't know if the black light will work. Um, since I have other lights on right now. Oh yeah, it's glowing. Yay, we have some amber, you guys. That is so cool. That's super exciting. Hopefully we find the match. A ring here just um, gold tone oh wait no hold on there's a mark in here it may it's probably still gold tone but wouldn't it be great if it was something more let's see I don't know what that says really hard to see inside the ring. Oh, it's an M. So this is a Madewell ring. That's cool. Okay. Here's the other earrings to that Claire set. And here's the match to this one that we found earlier, which is really a pretty design. 
it didn't see any sort of markings on it or anything like that. Um, we have another earring here that matches the black beaded one I found earlier. Let's see, we've got another earring caught in the mix. Okay, well, I don't see any sort of markings on the other earrings, so I'm just gonna leave them together for now. Oh, here's the other one. Goes like that. All right, another earring. This one's got like a, a really interesting dangle with some beads. Oh my. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this little bundle here to the side for me to untangle off camera and then I'll come back and show it to you guys. Um, we've got a single earring kind of a Kendra Scott-esque, but not Kendra Scott. Oh, here's something. Let's see if we can get this little sweetheart out of the gold chain. got it loose okay we've got a silver chain um, it's got an extender just kind of a plain chain wow this one's really long okay so just a plain chain it does have a tag on it oh stop you guys it's Pandora yay and then on the back it says the ALE 925 so how amazing is that we got a pandora chain hooray i'm loving this box already i mean no tiffany like what brighton got but i mean i'll take pandora j crew amber and sterling like all day long it's totally fine with me all right so we've got this <clears throat> we've got this gold tone chain I don't see any sort of markings. It's an interesting clasp, though. This one feels heavy duty. So I'm going to pull this one out of here. Okay. Oh, this is very long. It does have a tag. Oh, and this one is Monet. There's the tag there. See if I can get it for you guys. That is beautiful. Very long no name chain. How great is that? Looks like it's in great condition. Next, we've got kind of a hammered um, circle with it feels like leather, like a suede rope. Let's see if we see any sort of markings or anything on it. I don't, and it does have um, some wear there to the circular part. Okay, I see another match here, these tassel earrings. We've got some really pretty beads. Um, don't see any sort of marking on them. They do feel kind of like just some fashion earrings. Got a little guy right here. Look how pretty that is. Um, let's see. It looks like something else was supposed to be attached. I'm just gonna quickly see if I saw any sort of mark. I don't, but we will set set it to the side in case we find the match. Look, we got some Alex and Ani, which I got in my last mixed thread up box. And they ended up, um, oh, is this engraved? Bella Ryan. It is. How cool is that? 
Um, it turned out that Kristen D had mentioned, oh no, this is not Alex and Ani. This is, this is a brand called Bella Ryan. Anyways, back to the Alex and Ani, um, that some, some of their pieces are sterling silver. So I tested the ones that I got in my other box and they were sterling. So that was super interesting. I don't know about this Bella Ryan, um, but it's like an Alex. Alex and Ani kind of look alike. So we got those two bracelets. All right, we've got a necklace here. It seems like it's tangled up pretty decently. Let's see if I see any marks on it. There is a hang tag. Okay, I don't know what this what this maker is. Maybe some of my jewelry friends out here will know what that is. I'm not sure, um, but it's pretty. It's just tangled. All right, we've got the letter G. I did see when I was doing an overview of the bag for you guys, a lot of these little like letters floating around. So I'm just gonna collect those. Maybe somebody can do something with them. Maybe they spelled something out. I have no idea. Here's another bead. Ooh, look at this. That's really pretty. I mean, this could be sterling maybe. There is a mark on the back. I'll try to come in close for you guys. Let's see if we can figure out what it says. You know, it looks like it says something Mexico, like M-E-X. So I wonder if this is like a sterling piece from Mexico. How awesome. Okay, I'm gonna set that to the side. Hopefully we find a match to that one. All right, we've got two bracelets here. This one's kind of a little stretchy one. This is an Alex and Ani in a copper tone with an arrow. And then we've got, this feels like glass, stretchy bracelet there with a little bit of like kind of an AB wash on it. Oh, I really like this. Um, this just looks like a little fashion kind of, I don't know, cylinder earring. But I think it's cool. Let's see, we've got another little gold ring. Uh, just gold tone. I don't see any sort of markings on the inside. Let's see if this one, if we can read anything. Okay, it does say Mexico on the back here. Let's see if I can see anything more. I really can't. Let's see if you guys can see it. It does say Mexico. But that's about as far as I can get, but how awesome are those? So we have a match there. I think that is amazing. Next, we have this really interesting pair of earrings. It has a little um, guy up here. He's like, what's up? The top of my earring. Um, and these say Mexico also. How fun. I'm finding all sorts of fun things in this box. See right there? Mexico. I don't know if it's uh, sterling or just a gold tone. It feels like a decent weight. So I'll have to test those and see if anything comes up there. Okay, we've got a little bracelet, kind of like an illusion wire. I don't see any sort of markings on this one. We got the other Longhorn. Totally, I'm either going to keep these or pass them on to somebody else who will love them here in Texas. I am not a Longhorn fan um, because my dad went to OU. <laughs> so I was raised not to like the Longhorns. We have another like wire bracelet, but there's so many people who are fans of um, the Longhorns here. And the Longhorns just kind of a sign in Texas, I think. These are really nice, these little pave um, flowers. I like those. 
we just have a bunch of these. Maybe they go together with the flower. What do you think? I think they all might go together. How neat. Again, I didn't see any sort of like maker's mark on it at all. Um, but it's really pretty. We've got another kind of lightweight ring. I don't know if it's wood. I don't know if it's like, I don't know what it's made out of, but it's very lightweight. We have another little gold tone ring that has the little moon on it. This one also is marked with an M for Madewell. You can see right there. So we'll add that to the little stack there. I wonder if that other little ring said Madewell. It could have. Look at this. How lovely is that? Really pretty kind of orange dingle beans. Let's see if I can get the back off. My goodness. Oh, wow. That's serious business. I swear every time I go to film, like my phone storage fills up. <laughs> so anyway, I have to delete some things. I don't see any sort of mark on that one. We'll see if we find the mate. Oh, here's an interesting pair that's got kind of that piece that hangs behind. Um, let's see if we see any sort of marks on it. I don't see anything. Those sure are pretty though. Set that to the side. We've got another leather. Oh, yeah, genuine leather. Look at that. I don't know if this number necessarily means anything right here, um, but I can try looking that up, see if I find anything. But hey, genuine leather is always great. It's in a really pretty kind of muted purple color. We have got another Alex and Ani. Again, I will now like test all of these for 925. <laughs> Just in case. Oh, look, we've got a bird. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love birds. Look how pretty that is. That looks like a um, cedar wax wing to me, if you were to ask my opinion. Um, Y'all didn't ask, but I'm telling you anyway <laughs> what I think it looks like. And this has an LC, so I'm assuming that means Liz Claiborne. Um, but I love that. I will be keeping that for myself. Whoops, sorry, knocked you guys. There's another one of these wire bracelets. I'm gonna try to pick up the pace a little bit now. Um, oh my. I mean, we've got a very long looks like it's got an intentional knot at the bottom necklace i don't see any sort of maker's mark on this one so i'm gonna put that into craft because i have a feeling that those wires are gonna be messed up looks like we have a wooden kind of like red um bracelet bangle hmm something may have happened to this one too but we've got um, some different beads kind of going down and then like an exposed wire down there. Another one of the wire bracelets. We've got an earring that's got some like filigree work on it. I don't see any sort of like 925 markings or name brands. We've got more of these letters. Lots of little gold tone letters. Add that to my little stash over there. There's been a few beads that have kind of fallen out. Here's something in a baggie. We've got some dangle leaf earrings. No mark on them. Mm, they look like they're about ready to kind of come apart there at the jump ring. Those are nice. Got another gold tone ring. 
looks like it's got some little links in it. I'm going to put this with the Madewell rings just in case they end up being the same size. Um, maybe they go together, but not 100% sure. Ooh, look, we've got kind of one of those arms. See how large that is? Like um, that you put at the top of your arm. Ooh, oh, stop. Is this sterling? I think it might be you all. Oh my God. And I said y'all. So no, I said you all, which is more serious than y'all. So that means pay attention. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. I was doing good earlier, but it's kind of awkward with this bracelet or arm cuff. There it is. 925, you guys. Look how major that is. That is amazing. All right. We've got a statement necklace okay, right here that's missing a stone. <clears throat> I see the stone in the bag, but it looks to be unbranded to me. So I'm just going to move that craft. We got the other Mexico earring. Yay! Look at how gorgeous that is. I'm so excited for those. Okay, so we have that match. <clears throat> Looks like we've got some rings. I'm loving this box, you guys. It's great. All right, let's start with this big boy. All right. It's very heavy. I don't see any sort of marking. I have no idea if this is like a stone, like a real stone or not. I don't know. And it looks to be pretty tiny, but we've got that. Another little gold tone ring. And then we've got, this feels to me, whoops, oh, it's not good if you drop it see if I see any sort of markings in it. Yeah, there's something. <gasps> Stop. Oh my gosh. Hold on, guys. I'm going to start seeing you all here in a minute. Okay, this says J H Does this say 525? Is this gold? Nope, 925. Hold on, stop. J H925. So we have a sterling ring. Look how lovely that is. For a second, I thought it said 525, and I was really going to freak out. But we have a sterling ring that is gorgeous. Oh my. Oh my gosh, look, and it's got a clip. Oh my gosh, what is this clip to? Hold on, I've got another letter. Is, what, what is this? I don't know, but I love it. Okay, this is like a braided metallic material in two different tones. So it's like a gold tone and kind of a bronze tone. And then we have this snake, and man, the snake, it's gonna bite, okay? I'm thinking that this is a belt because it does have some stretch to it. <gasps> Look how awesome that is. I love this. I think it's just fashion. I don't see any sort of name on it, but this is absolutely fabulous. I love that. Based on style alone, I will 100% list that. Okay, another beaded earring. So we have a match there. Okay. Let's pull another handful out. See what other kind of goodies we can find. We've got more little letters. I hope y'all aren't gonna expect me to put those letters together and like unscramble like a hidden phrase, like I'm in Survivor or Big Brother or something. I hope it's not a test. Okay, this, this is a situation. I don't know what's happening here. Okay. Hold on, let me unlatch this and we will look at it. It does have um, some branding on it. Oh man, this thing is heavy. 
can get this into focus so you guys can see. Look how beautiful, and these are very cold to the touch. Some sort of stone, my stone people can probably tell me. Look how massive this is. This is great. Okay, and then you've got these gold, this gold tone work up through here. And look how gorgeous that chain is. Is that a Rolo chain? I don't know. You guys tell me. Um, it's got a little leaf on this end. And this end says what? David Aubrey. And it's got a little flower right there. See if the back says anything. Nope. Stamp with the same thing. That is gorgeous. Hopefully that's something that I can Google Lens, but I love that. Y'all, my love pile is really big over here, which is amazing. Okay, we've got a super beat up tassel, um, but with some nice beadwork here. Um, it's got a little heart. Bring you in a little closer so you can see that. With a hook. I don't really see a mark though. Like, I don't know. I mean, this seems pretty, even though the tassel's beat up, it seems nice. And it's got a little um, feather hanging down. But these beads are great. They feel kind of cool to the touch. All right, what else we got brought up? Let's, let's go, I'm loving this. Okay, let me undo this one. We have a really thick gold tone, like choker. That seems really small for a choker. Anklet, I don't know. Don't see any sort of markings or anything, so that is fashion. All right, we've got another little letter on here. Let's move that over. I'm trying to pick up the pace here. I don't want this video to be too long. Um, really cool design. Gold tone chain. Don't see any sort of marking, but how neat is that? Jewelry is like so interesting to me. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> we found the culprit. We found the necklace that has the letters on it. So I don't know if all those letters spelled something on this chain, but it does have a CR, which means it could have said Christina, which means this box was meant for me. Okay. Um, it does have a little star dangling down. Um, it's interesting that there's like two clasps here. I don't know what this could be. Um, but I'm going to put that with the little letters and there's another letter. Maybe it came with the whole alphabet. Who knows? We've got a bracelet here. At first I thought it was a stretch bracelet because of the beading, but I don't think so. I don't see any sort of markings, but get little yellow and silver tone beads. this guy out. Look at, look how pretty, pretty this one is. There is um, some wear or like scratching or scuffing on the stones. We do have another tag and this one is a White House Black Market. I will have to decide if I'm going to sell this because of all of the wear to the beads, but for now I'm going to put it over in the pile with the good stuff. Okay, we've got another, um, is that marked with something? We've got another necklace. Let's see. I'll give you guys a, a view of what it looks like. It's a really interesting pendant. I don't see anything on the clasp, but I do see something here. And it does say 
Let's see if I can get it to focus, but it does say 925. And I think that this is marked also, but I don't know. It, I don't know what that is. I'll have to look closer into that. I don't know if that's like a maker's mark right there or like what that could be. But we do have more sterling, you guys, how awesome. Okay, we've got another beaded necklace here. Um, some different like pearls and stones all the way around. This is a really interesting, it almost looks like a cloud um, clasp. So I think that's pretty cool. see what else we might be able to find okay so this earring I think is a match to that one that I said something was hanging off of it um, and that's what was hanging. look how gorgeous that is um, I didn't see any markings on the other one I don't see any markings right off the jump on this one I'm gonna check the post really fast and then hopefully we can find the mat. I mean, are these marcasites? They look like they could be. And I'm just looking at this super quickly, so I'll have to go back and check through all of this again. I don't see any markings on it. But those are absolutely gorgeous. I love that. All right, let me put that with the little that I put down. Okay. Hello. You are stuck. Okay. You say something. What do you say? See this jump ring on this gold piece is a little loose. So I think it got through there. Like that. Okay. We've got a cross. Look how Pretty that is with um, all the little stones and it's got like a gunmetal finish this says Toronto Canada and the other side says Belladonna I'm not familiar with that so I will have to look that up and that is really pretty Look at this baby. I mean, gorgeous. Really pretty. We are missing a couple stones here, unfortunately. Let's see if there's any maker's mark that I see. There's not. But how lovely is that pendant? It's too bad we're missing those. Okay, we've got like a little string strung through here and this is obviously broken. I don't see any sort of branding or maker's mark. So I don't know if that's worth my time like putting it back together. Okay, here's the match to this one that I liked. Yes, look, we found the match to that one. I can fix that. Okay, we've got another ring, kind of like that other one. I feel like these are real stones. Um, not sure if this would be sterling though. Oh, it is. This one's marked. Hmm. So hard to see inside the ring. Let's see if I can see what it says. If not, I'll look at it later and then I'll put it on the screen. It says something. It says two something actually. There's two markings inside of this.
9A95. And then there is another stamp, but I'm not sure what it is. So I'm gonna put that with the other one. Okay, so I had more sterling. I can't believe it. I feel like the last DIY box that I did was not nearly this good. I always feel like other people get like really good jewelry boxes. <laughs> And then I think, well, maybe it's because I'm not like a jewelry expert and I don't really know what to look for. But I feel like for all my jewelry fans out there, I watch your videos enough. I feel like I should know. Um, okay, so we have a silver or silver tone. It's kind of bent here. Um, cross, look how gorgeous that is. I love this so much. Really pretty, um, like AB. stones and there's some peeling I was trying to see what that was or some peeling on that faux pearl and this is by the brand Bebe. so unfortunately this is going to go to craft because it's it's too worn unless somebody wants it email me Still got like a little tag on it okay I don't know what's happening here I think this is one thing I'm not sure okay are you one thing are you different okay this is one thing so we've got this really pretty kind of Van Clef sign here what is this okay I don't know what that's supposed to be is it like a a boot no and then we've got this mark oh gosh I'll be doing some research because I don't know what that is so if anyone happens to know what symbol that's for let me know and then we've got one that's very similar another tassel with some really pretty beadwork I think these are maybe real pearls right here and this one looks like it just slips over the head that one's really pretty and again, I'll have to look up this, this situation. Here it is. And then there's the maker's mark. Again, if any of my jewelry people know what that is, let me know. All right. Looks like we have even another one of those. Okay, so we have a sil silver tone kind of interlocked ring. And this says Nine West, which I was just watching Kristen D's video, and she was saying that some, I don't know if she, it was some or all, I don't know. Nine West jewelry can be sterling. So I will test this just in case. This is one of those pieces. Um, and this one that went with the others is a hot mess. This will go straight to craft. We're almost to the end of the bag, except for these few little piles of tangles that we have. There's more of these letters. Got a random bead. Oh my goodness. Okay. We've got, oh, stop. Oh my God. We got the other match to the amber. Oh, I'm dying. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy about those. Okay. Yay. All right. We have this really interesting bracelet. Look at that. You've got several tones of like metallic. I don't see any sort of markings on the end, but look at that like memory, like wire type bracelet. That's really cool. A random bead. Doesn't feel like stone. We've got, oh, I think this might go with that necklace that we had, um, that sterling necklace. So I will have to look at this closer, but I think that these go together. What did I do with that necklace? Oh, it's right here. Okay, put that together. Okay, see, look, we have another one of these. Is that missing a rhinestone? I can't tell if it's missing or it's discolored. But anyway, another one of those like little signs. Oh my gosh, it's just falling apart. With the tassel, you've got these 
different beads. Look how messed up that string is, you guys. This is so bad. Oh my gosh, so bad. Okay, while you're cute, you're going to craft. And then what we're left with right here are all, like more of these letters. So again, I'm saving all these letters. I don't know what I'm spelling or what they go to. Um, this little guy kind of fell out to the side. So let's check. Let's, I'm not going to untangle him right now, but we'll look at the hang tag, see if we can figure out what this says. Banana Republic. Okay. So right there, that says Banana Republic. Um, it's kind of little hammered discs in a gold tone. All right, now we've got these little piles. I am going to pause you guys while I untangle this, and then we have one more pile of tangles. Okay, so there were three necklaces in that little tangle. So this one was a multi-layer necklace. It does have a hang tag that says JS, so I'm pretty sure that that is Jessica Simpson. Um, it's got some really cute blue beads on it and a, a little gold tone bar that dangle down. Then we have another gold tone. Looks like a little ocean wave um, pendant at the bottom, no markings. And then we have this silver tone kind of hammered disc necklace. This one also doesn't have any markings either. Has kind of an interesting closure right here, um, but I don't see any markings on that one. All right, now, this is the grand finale. I'm gonna untangle and I'll be right back. Okay, I wanted to show you where we're at. I still have a little bundle that I'm working on, but I did get these um, separated. So this is an express necklace with kind of like some cream wooden beads. This is an unbranded gold tone. Um, necklace with a little dangle like tassel and then we have kind of a hammered double hoop um, pendant hanging from a silver tone chain now these two I have not gotten apart um, but this one looks to be broken um, and I don't see any sort of like tag or marking on it at all so I'm just going to leave it. Um, this one is a gold tone. It's got this like gold tone spike and it's got a little pendant that says love right here. And then if you follow this all the way to the end, there is a maker's mark. There's a little rhinestone and it's got an R. So I don't know if that means like Rachel Zoe. I'm not really sure what the R stands for. If you guys happen to know, let me know if it's worth me untangling this. Um, but for now, those are going to go to crafts because I can't get them apart. And I'm going to finish this little bundle and see if I am wasting my time trying to untangle a straw. Okay. I was not going to let the straw necklace beat me, but the straw necklace is actually this necklace. It was threaded through the straw. I still cannot get this unknotted. I cannot figure it out. I don't even know how long I've been sitting here trying to untangle it, but there's three different necklaces here. There's this one, this Claire's one, and then this one here on the end that has this really cute evil eye that I'm kind of obsessed with and I want it but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it off. Cause again, I've been sitting here a really long time trying to untangle this. I don't even know who I am anymore. <laughs> like, I don't know what time it is. I don't know anything. Um, so I'm going to leave this for now, but these are three fashion necklaces. One of them had a straw attached, which really threw me off. But let's talk about the amazing box I got. Let's talk about, I mean, a couple pieces of Mexico jewelry, right? We had those. We had these. Excuse how dirty my fingers are. Um, Alex and Ani. 
this one that I'm not sure what the mark is on that. We had this silver popcorn chain that I'm obsessed with. This um, upper arm cuff that's sterling. We had some Monet. Um, White House Black Market. We have this one that I don't know um, the maker on. Probably nothing, but I'm still going to look it up. This adorable um, snake belt. Okay. Madewell rings. Sterling silver rings. Sterling silver necklace and earring. Uh, excuse me, but did we forget this Pandora? Yes. And my absolute favorite piece. Oh, wait. We have to give an honorable mention to the sterling silver ring that is in here. And the mother of pearl wide bangle. But these are my favorite thing out of the whole box. These sterling silver amber flower earrings. I absolutely love them. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for sticking with me for this long unboxing. But wasn't it worth it? Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already so you can be notified of my upcoming videos. I will be doing a designer unboxing on Thursday. And I look forward to seeing y'all then. Good night.